What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today in Scrap Mechanic, and I know it's been a few days since the last video, but I just got working on a big project, and once I get working on these big projects, I kind of just get into this mindset where I have to finish the project, and what happened was after the last stream, we had looked at doing auto-guided artillery, and there were a few comments with that, number one of course being that the artillery has a little bit of an issue uh, lining up with the target. Long story short, the sensor goes very quickly past the target, and sometimes it's a little bit difficult to track. But regardless, I decided to look at doing a radar guided artillery. It was very much suggested and uh, it was a very good idea. Now, the only thing is I didn't do an artillery that automatically shoots towards the radar because trying to do that with the accuracy of the radar is pretty terrible. The, the radar in Scrap Mechanic is really just based on those five sensors right there and uh, it only really is accurate to 50 blocks so I, I made a really 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 cool system and that's of course this so we can take a look here we can um, get in this seat although we don't really need the seat but let's just go up on top here so really quite simply it's uh, a very complicated creation it's got a lot of stuff but it is in fact a simple single tier radar down inside this cube it's the same radar I've done before this one's a little bit different it'll uh, hold the object on the radar screen until it checks again in that same location and then clears it if the object isn't there or it keeps the object on the screen. So it's very much looks sort of like a static radar uh, and we'll, we'll turn it on in a second but really it's a radar and then of course we've got these two piston powered artillery cannons on the top with uh, with automatic reloaders, four barrels in each and uh, they launch the barrels pretty accurately to where you position the radar. So we're not going to disconnect the barrels just yet, we're going to look a little bit about how this works mainly because when you disconnect all these barrels, you do get a little bit of a frame drop. There's a lot of stuff going on, a lot of pistons. But if we look, basically we've got some simple controls. So we've got uh, the blue, which will elevate our whole platform here, lift it up on the pistons. Now the pistons act as sort of the no collision, so the radar can see through them. The elevation, really, you can adjust it with this controller if you really want to. Uh, it, it's mainly just designed to allow you to sort of absorb any terrain. Obviously, if you use this on a terrain map, all the trees and stuff would show up on the radar as objects, so, you know, it doesn't really work. Of course, we've got some little sort of red targets set up, so these are just open, hollow targets, and if we turn on the radar here with the green, it's uh, it'll take a bit, there we go, it should start to paint the picture. Now, of course, in Scrap Mechanic, it is very much a visual radar, so you can see we pick up the object a little bit here, uh, we're this blue circle in the middle, and we pick up an object here, and then we see it sort of in a projection, so you kind of have to judge where you'd like to position your cannon to hit that object. We've got another one here, another one there, and they're almost like, you know, perfectly, and then a further one there. Of course, you're probably wondering, well, how do I aim the turret? And, uh, and that's what all these buttons do, as well as uh, these fire controls. So the three red buttons are your fire controls. You can't do that yet because these two gates aren't lit up. These gates kind of let you know that there isn't a shot that's actually been loaded, and if they're not lit up, you're probably just going to screw something up. So we're not going to hit those buttons. And then, of course, we've got these blue switches. Now, you'll notice there's this lovely pipe piece here and this is actually where our cannons are aiming so it doesn't work on a left right up down system it works on a spinning and then extension system so like a circle basically so if we press the switch and uh, they do move relatively slow because you can see there the cannons on the top are actually moving to match our position and so if we press that switch we can bring that in it'll lock to a certain degree and then we'll rotate it and uh, I'll just let it rotate you can see there it's rotating about that center point now there are limits on it of course, if we try and tilt the cannons too far back, you can see we can hold it all the way to the middle and they will stop at that point, same sense if we try and go full extension, they will stop once they get to the end, hopefully. And it should stop there at the end. Now you'll notice too, there is a little bit of a, a I like to call it a corner correction. So what, because this is a square grid, and technically speaking, it should be a circular grid, like the radar. The objects in these far corners are actually, uh, they'll, they'll appear further away on the radar, but they're not actually further away. So each block line is 50 blocks. So this is 50, 100, 150, 200, 250, which means this diagonal line is still 50, 100, 150, 200, 250. And so this block here appears further than that. So there is an actual correction piece on this. So you might see it extend itself ever so slightly when it gets into the corners, and that's just because it's trying to line up uh, to make it a little bit more visually representative. Okay, so let's just see, you can see there it's starting to tip back in. All right, so we can do this from the seat too, actually, which makes it a little bit easier. Um, so one, two, three, and four for the controls here, and then of course, five, six, seven for the three firing buttons. So let's, uh, three, no, wrong way, four, 
So we're going to try and line up on this target here. Uh, we're going to bring it close. Now, of course, it is only accurate to 50 blocks on the radar, so sometimes you will miss the target. Um, you get, you get, okay, I think, I think that's going to be pretty good. And, uh, and then let's go fire this thing. All right, so we've got it lined up. So let's just get up top here. Really simple piston elevator. And we'll just disconnect all the loading stuff. So it's a pretty simple cannon. Uh, normally when you reload, you'd hit this button. That'll extend the, the two magazines back. Uh, and we can just disconnect those. And we can just grab this. And we should be able to drag it up like that and disconnect them all. And same sense here. Now this is all pipe pieces so that it actually allows you to do this sort of click and... So it actually allows you to do this click and drag. Here we go. There we go. Perfect. And then we just kind of let them settle. And they'll be pretty good. They get clamped in there, no problem. And uh, there is actually this separation bar you can see here. So this piece here won't load into here. And I totally mispainted that. I think we've got one lined up here. So let's just fire uh, five. Here we go. Okay. Lob shot. We can uh, zoom out there. You can see the loader shifting over, sliding the block. Oh, look at that. Dead on. Perfect shot right into the bin. And then you can see their loader jamming the next shell in, getting ready to go. All right, let's fire six or seven. This should also be pretty much in the same shot. The consistency of these cannons is really, really good. The piston extension cannon with straight vanilla. Uh, yeah, no, perfect right there into the thing. All right, so let's line up on the next target now. Uh, let's go two. We'll just rotate the cannons over. That, looking at that target there, that looks pretty good. Let's see if we can line this up here. Okay, so you gotta, you gotta think of it like you're looking as if you're a camera. Now, the radar is perfectly centered at the same center point as the cannons. So no matter which way you rotate, uh, it does work. Okay, so I think... See, that, that seems too far. But if we go here, it seems like we're casting a shadow on these blocks. And I think we should extend it just by one. It might be too much, but let's try this again. All right, let's fire both at the same time, and boom. Oh, we got a misfire there. Happens occasionally. Sometimes when you move around, the barrel gets a little bit shifted out of position. Ooh, just a little bit off. Okay, so we got to go a little to the left. There we go. Nope, a little to the left. There we go. And uh, are we loaded up? Two cannonballs. Okay, one didn't load. Again, scrap mechanic physics aren't that great. Normally, you can go through a full clip, no problem, without a misfire, but... Uh, sometimes it happens. All right, and uh, let's see if we can get this in three, two, one, fire two. There we go. Nice shot there. All right, are they going to go in? Both of them got to go in. Oh, still a little short. little short. So obviously the uh, the accuracy here, distance-wise, we're not, we're not really right there yet. Okay, let's just extend that out then. All right, so here we go. Let's fire in rapid succession, five and then seven. So here we go in three, two, one, five, boom, seven, boom. One's empty, so you can see there, it'll just, uh... Oh, my piston's jammed up. Did I, did I jam the piston on the one side? The piston loader on this one side doesn't want to move. I think I've sufficiently jammed it somehow. Okay, weird. Got that weird glitch where all of a sudden pistons decide they don't want to do anything. That's always useful. So when you get up here and the shots are empty, you'll see both the reloading mechanisms, these magazines, whatever you want to call them. Uh, they're both at full extension on the pistons. So we can just hit this black button in the middle. That extends both mags back out. And then, of course, we put our two rounds in the cannons. Like uh, so. This is a little bit difficult sometimes. There we go. One down and uh, two and then to reload the magazines really simply, you just kind of extend a line of blocks here in the middle section and put down your three barrels on top of that. Disconnect this line of blocks again and problem solve. And of course the lag kind of starts up a little bit. Not too bad though, uh, but it does definitely get worse. All right, so I think oh, we got one barrel in there. So let's just put another one in there just to be sure that this thing will actually hit there. So five, seven, there we go. Loading up both here. You can see sometimes, too, the barrel gets jammed on a little bit of an angle. Not really a big deal, though, because the loading bar, you can see, actually will just kind of slam it into the right position. So it actually works out really well. It uh, it doesn't matter. Did those go in? I wasn't even paying attention. All right, let's just fire both again. There we go. We might be aiming a little bit short here. And you can see, of course, as we fire more shots. Oh, no, there we go. One in. So a little bit, a little bit to the left. 
Makes sense. All right, let's go for this next target, though. Visually, that kind of looks okay. I think more over here, though. Um, then you can see there, so now it's going through that slight little extension piece. So I'm not actually telling it to move out, but because it's trying to adjust it for the corner a little bit so that it looks a little bit more representative. You can see if I slide over one block, it's actually going to pull it back in. Again, trying to adjust for that corner, so it sort of makes a little kind of like a squarish pattern. All right, this looks pretty good. I mean, it's probably going to overshoot, to be honest. Maybe, maybe back a little bit because we're definitely on that sensor range. All right, and uh, here we go in three, two, one, fire one. All right, a little bit off. Didn't get that perfect shot. Looks pretty good though. Oh, a little, little to the left. We need to move there. Okay, let's just, uh, again, the radar can be accurate to a degree of 50 blocks. I really wish, I didn't use any mods on this build. This build is completely mod free. But it would be nice to actually have some letters that says accurate to only 50 blocks or objects in radar maybe closer than they appear. All right, let's fire that one again. Um, ooh, short. Really? I, that seems like a misfire, though, because it, it was not falling straight through the air. It was kind of tumbling. Obviously, the range on a radar is, uh, is 250 blocks, so it's not extremely practical. To have something like this, it's uh, it's very slow moving, obviously, and just like you guys were saying in the stream, it's very easy to dodge the shots if you watch somebody try and shoot them at you. But I just think it's a really, really cool idea, and uh, combining two elements, of course, combining the radar with uh, with something a little bit different with these artillery cannons. I might try and do an auto tracking thing again. Um, I was looking at how to make these cannons reload really quickly. The biggest problem though I have is really the problem you're seeing right now, which is the more barrels or bullets or whatever that you have in the cannon at a time, the worse it is on the lag of your computer and it's a lot more difficult to, uh, to load up. So if I make a, a single cannon with like, let's say 10, then the lag instantly just from having the 10 barrels free floating there is terrible. So when you make a rapid fire device, let's say you could fire, you know, one or two shots per second, you're still stuck with the fact that you can't have a very, very big clip. And uh, I wish there was a way to fix that or if there was something that we could use that's better for ammo. So I still want to explore that a little bit. But uh, for now, let's see if we can hit this target. Okay, let's turn both of those off. That looks, uh, that looks pretty... Let's line up here because I think visually... That makes more sense. Uh, seems pretty good. It might need to be a little bit further. But uh, let's just fire. Oh, misfire backwards. Okay. At least it wants to reload. That's good. Let's fire this one in the meantime. Okay, that one's going good. Did it make it? Ooh, a little short. You can see, again, uh, off by that 50 block range. Okay, hold on. Let's just... Nope. Back. Okay, it loaded. So it seems to load those ones, no problem. All right, let's just aim a little bit further and uh, fire this one. Perfect. Fire this one. Perfect. All right, one of those is going in for sure. Maybe both. Oh, too far now. Okay, hold on. Actually, I probably should have seen that coming. Kind of over-aimed it. All right, back a little bit. I think that's back to where we were. Something like this. You are stuck with, of course, set controller intervals. We'll take a look in... Oh, another misfire there. Okay. So, uh, there we go. Not a misfire. The piston reloader seems to be working now again. I don't I don't know why. It has that random time where... You can see, oh boy, that shell is... There we go. Perfect. Even, even with the shell really screwed up. That's a little bit of a misload. There we go. Letting that sit back in. But yeah, even with the... Um, there we go. Perfect. Another, another misfire. And, oh, a little bit far again. We gotta, we gotta back that up. This is why doing a radar controlled uh, system would be very, very difficult unless you increased the size and resolution of the radar. So right now the resolution of the radar is five by 50. It's five individual sensors sensing 50 block intervals. But let's say we increase this to, you know, 15 sensors or 25 sensors at 10 block intervals. You could make this a lot more accurate. Of course, the radar would become massive and it would probably lag your game out because you already need a fair amount of logic gauge just to make it in the first place. Here we go though, six. You can see there when you load them, it's uh, almost perfect. I really love these cannons though, these vanilla piston cannons. There we go, two in, one uh, bouncing all the way out, but it was in. Regardless, really cool stuff, but of course, if you guys are interested on how this works, it is all really, really uh, quite simple, I guess. 
The radar control is over here, and so I've, I've done this before in a few other videos, the sonar on the submarine, same principle, and uh, radar truck and all that sort of thing. And then this fancy arm here is just basically, um, yeah, that doesn't really help you see it, but that fancy arm is controlled by this over here, which is all your switch inputs to move the artillery cannons. And so the same controls that move this arm around on the screen actually move the artillery cannons at the same time. And they're all done with controllers because after a lot of testing, I was able to go through and go, okay, this is the angles that relate from, you know, distance to distance on the radar to distance there. And it's pretty good. I mean, there are some inaccuracies. Obviously, you can see with the inaccuracies of the radar, but it's pretty decent. Uh, and then we've got some little controllers here. So this little sort of sensor bar set up here is to determine the angle to make sure that you don't over tilt the cannons. And then this one here determines which rotation you're in so that I can extend that arm out to try and correct the radar position. And then of course we've got the whole firing sequence which is this stuff up here and this stuff over here. So really a simple build if you break it down to the essential steps. I mean it's just a radar. The radar technically doesn't have any connections to any of the firing mechanisms or any of that but it is it is really cool to have this overlay so i'm really happy with this build and i'd love to hear what you guys think so make sure you let me know in the comments down below i will of course include this on the workshop uh it does come loaded up with the cannons you'll see there are obviously some issues with the reloading and stuff like that but pretty good and uh definitely a lot of fun to try and shoot blind targets like this it's been a lot of fun to build this and i think in the future i wouldn't mind trying to mount this on some sort of vehicle but I believe I would have to do one cannon and really make this a lot simpler of design just because of the lag. And uh, I tried mounting this platform on wheels and it was just not a good a good time. But we're going to uh, we're gonna fire up these last two shots. They should both go in. But make sure you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. And uh, hit that like button and that subscribe button while you're at it. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see y'all next time. Come on. Perfect. 10 out of 10.